Thank you very much uh, and good afternoon and namaste from Nepal. So briefly, I will talk about the cholera situation as uh, Nepal is endemic for cholera and uh, has a potential for large uh, outbreaks. So I'll talk about cholera situation up to 2020, then the cholera outbreak in some of some districts in 2021 and the response to it and then the situation, current situation where we have an outbreak in Kathmandu and what actions have been taken by the Ministry of Health and some initiatives of the International Vaccine Institute for Cholera Control, key achievements and main challenges, and what are the priorities for 2020-23. Yes, so uh, as I said, uh, cholera is endemic uh, in Nepal and uh, with the potential for large outbreaks. And as you can see, uh, from 2015 to 18, we had cases of cholera, but 1920, there were no cases detected for cholera. And if the situation regarding wash, you can see 93% of households in Nepal have some improved source of drinking water and 72% uh, have some improved sanitation facilities. But open defecation is still practiced in a few areas. And the country remains at high risk for outbreaks due to a steady increase in the urban population accompanied by an inadequate supply of safe drinking water and any pre-existing sanitation sewerage infrastructure concern. In 2021, uh, we had initially two imported cases in September, followed by more than 1,500 cases in Kapilvastu districts, where the response from the ministry was immediate with the strong epidemiological investigations and a joint team was formed with WHO, UNICEF and others and a response with cholera kit and uh, also uh, an immediate response from all partners was coordinated. Uh, in, after that, uh, in, the request was sent with the International Coordination Group for vaccines and uh, vaccination campaign is currently ongoing also during COVID-19 response. And since the start of the vaccination campaign, no additional cases of cholera were detected in the districts, uh, which is Kapilvastu district bordering India. In 2022, in June, we in Kathmandu Valley, so far 12 cases of cholera have been detected and the Epidemiological Division, Ministry of Health and Population is coordinating with the local municipal authorities for uh, investigation and a multi-sectoral approach with guidance from Ministry of Health and involving all sectors, uh, and also local level for community engagement, proper communication, wash and door to do activities. And similarly, there has been engagement with other ministries on water surveillance, food surveillance, and information dissemination, etc. So, Ministry of Health uh, has a national preparedness and response plan for acute gastroenteritis and cholera. The main objective is to improve overall health status by reducing the incidence of cholera throughout the country and to spread, uh, prevent the spread of cholera, reduce mortality from cholera ensure a coordinated and collaborative approach in response to the outbreaks and ensure that a rapid response mechanism is in place in order to successfully stop the disease. So this uh, uh, plan uh, currently will end in July 2022 and currently there are plans to review and update this plan. Uh, so in addition, uh, since 2020, the Ministry of Health has collaborated with the International Vaccine Institute's enhancing cholera control in Nepal, specifically to prevent and control cholera epidemics and strengthen capacities of the local public health service to sustainably conduct cholera and diarrhea disease surveillance. And this uh, program has conducted a major cholera control and prevention project in Nepal, which includes oral cholera vaccine, vaccination campaigns combined with WASH activities, strengthen disease surveillance and development of a national cholera control plan. Some key achievements uh, that there are systems in place for surveillance and case detection. The laboratory network has also been strengthened both at the federal level and at the provincial level. But the new federal structure specified that the uh, response is primarily coordinated at the local level by the municipal authorities. And uh, the actions for risk communication, community engagement, wash and sanitation is primarily the responsibility of the municipal level. Uh, government uh, is very uh, proactive in ensuring a multi-sectoral response uh, and strengthening event-based surveillance and also making sure that 
uh, robust responses provided in coordination with partners WHO, UNICEF, and others working in the area of water and sanitation. Some key challenges remain because of the federalized structure, because all of the staff, municipal staff is new. They need uh, 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 a lot of capacity strengthening, uh, lack of also guidance framework type documents at the local level for, if an, for an effective response. So uh, there is uh, the need for capacity building uh, activities uh, at the local level. And this now will be included in the government's annual plan also in the provincial plan. Going forward, uh, basically one is to enhance uh, through this project uh, and uh, through and Ministry of Health, the findings of this will be used to develop the new cholera control plan, strengthen the event-based surveillance, including community-based surveillance, uh, which are ongoing and will be further strengthening, and ensuring that uh, rapid response teams are trained at local level and this training is ongoing and will continue going forward. In addition to that, especially for Kathmandu, a major intervention will be to improve the sewerage system and to have a safe drinking water from source to transport to point of delivery, uh, including groundwater and municipal water supply sources. So this, uh, this is a priority uh, which the government will take forward. On one other area in terms of community engagement, uh, based on our experience in the Kapilavastu uh, outbreak, there needs to be more in-depth analysis to develop culturally appropriate messaging and approach for promoting safe water drinking practices and improving health-seeking behavior and also promoting use of improved sanitation facilities. So thank you very much.